god, oh god, okay, break, 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 break. What's up you guys? We're back with another vlog and in today's vlog it's going to be brought to you today by Bright Sellers who's sponsoring this video. Bright Sellers matches you to wines from all over the world curated to your palate. They focus on finding unique hidden gems from small vineyards all over the world. All you need to do is take their quick and simple seven question quiz so they can gather your taste preferences and deliver wines you're guaranteed to like. Answer questions like your favorite chocolate or how you drink your tea, and they'll find perfect wine to suit you. Each box is completely unique to your taste palette, meaning no box is ever the same. Their in-house sommelier handpicks wine based on your preferences. They send the wine directly to you, so no need to venture out to the liquor store or grocery store to grab bottles or waste money trying new bottles that might not even match your taste. You no longer need to choose a bottle based on the label alone. Each box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that outlines the tasting notes, suggested pairings, best serving temperature, and origin. You can impress your friends and family with your new extensive wine knowledge from the education cards they send you. Wine wisdom cards help show you how to store and open your wine, keeping it tasting fresh for longer periods of time. They have outstanding customer service. Their delight guarantee means if you don't love a bottle in your shipment, they'll send you a replacement in your next box. Your wine comes in recyclable packaging, plastic free and with a small carbon footprint, meaning your wine experience is 100% sustainable. Bright Sellers is giving my followers and subscribers 50% off their first six a bottle box. That's six bottles for just $53, which is a crazy value. Please support my channel by following the link to take the quiz and get started today. Mmm. Okay, you guys, so today is Saturday. I just uploaded a video. I'm not feeling too well, but the spoilest girl in the world wants some ice cream, so she wanna go back to yogurt land. We was watching my video and she saw how good that ice cream she looked made. I ain't even gonna lie, I want some too. So it was easy to say yes to that because that Butterfinger and strawberry mixture was on point. So we about to head back to uh, yogurt land and uh, if I'm feeling better by the time we leave, Y'all, this light so clutch. This light on this this tripod from uh, my last vlog. This light so damn clutch. Now I can go through any type of lighting and I ain't got to worry about it again. Dark, light, all that, you know. Where the keys at? I need the keys, the keys, the keys, the keys. So if I'm feeling better by the time. Baby, ma'am is strutting, okay? Girl, you doing a good job. Girl, you doing a good job. Let's see if they don't fix the elevator. Probably not, because this place is ghetto. I want to break my lease so damn bad. Mm. I want to break my lease. I don't want to live here no more. I want to move to like, I want to move to the sky. Bye. I want to move to a high rise up in the air. I want to move on up like the Jeffersons, you know what I'm saying? Well, the elevator work, hey, okay. The next one is going to be broken. Period, you hear me? Say it again, sis. Say it again. I need to buy a uh, blood pressure cuff off Amazon so I can start monitoring my blood pressure cuffs. I'm not liking how I feel right now. It also could be that I ain't took uh, a pedamine in a while too. I noticed when I stopped taking it, about two weeks later, 
I start, I start feeling real, real sick, like I'm having withdrawal symptoms. Well, they don't talk about that though. Karen, you are doing such a good job. Girl, you can make money for doing this. I know. <laughs> I sure am. So you sure don't know what to say. Um, guys, so this is my patient, and I'm at the um uh so this went that mommy put on this thing and she put it like right like 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 dots dots and um so so mine is gonna be my patient and so let's get started with her back guys so Okay, more. Okay, okay, thank you. Keep hitting! Told me that joke! <laughs> oh, you sound like, um, like, uh, Hot Smash, Mom. <laughs> Who? Hot <High> Smash. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is exactly what I needed. What? This? Oh, wee! What? That's the spot right there. Girl! I see a future for you. I see a future in massage therapy for you, Karen. This is it. Yes, Mom. Yes, say it again, Mom. Say it again, Mom. Say it again, Mom. <laughs> Alexa, play Married to Medicine. Getting Married to Medicine from Hulu. Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games are finally here. Customize with your Hulu lineup with all your favorite sports and athletes. Don't miss NBC Universal. Yeah, this um, this vlogging light that's on my tripod that I talked about in my last vlog. Oh my God, it is coming through with a clutch right now because it will be so dark light. Like, it's so much brown hardware and furniture in my apartment that it it dims the light a lot in my apartment. So like my my apartment just naturally isn't that bright. Which honestly, it's cool or whatever. It gives off a nice vibe, but at the same time, it can be kind of depressing. Um, so I really appreciate getting that light. Like, oh my God, and it was only $10 on Amazon. If you guys want any of the items that I talked about in my last vlog or in this vlog, definitely check the description box. Anything that I talk about is always gonna be in the description box. I know a lot of times, you know, when I'm reading comments, a lot of y'all are asking me about links to stuff and it's in the description box. Um, if you don't see anything Amazon related in the description box, that's because it's all in my Amazon store. So you have to click the link to my Amazon store um, and then go in the different um, categories. So like film and equipment would be in starting a YouTube channel. It would be in that. Um, category but i'm just about to clean up a little bit because i cannot cook in a dirty kitchen so i'm cleaning up first putting up um dishes and stuff like that and then i'm gonna make me and karen breakfast because you know i don't play about breakfast plus karen ain't gonna let me not cook a breakfast show ma'am's gonna be we laying in the bed i get too comfortable mom when are you making breakfast karen yeah what you do what you doing babe I'm dancing to some music, Mom. Oh. What are you listening to? Mulatto? Yeah. I know you so well. Kai Kai, you got a package! Karen, you got a you got a package! 
You! Here. Be careful with this. Don't cut yourself. Here. You got it? Yeah. Okay. in there for you. Wow, she hooked you up. Thank you, Nikki. Uh, who's Nikki? Platinum D. She makes YouTube videos too, like me. She has her own business and she sent you a whole bunch of stuff. And that's the girl on uh TV? Mm-hmm. She sent all that stuff for you. Open it and look at it. I got some stuff from her too. Wait a minute. So this the person that I saw on TV. Yeah. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, sis. I really appreciate this. Because you got some good bras. Like, she got some really, really good sports bras, y'all. I'm going to also link um, her website in the description box so you guys can get it. Like, Mom, look at this. What are those? Ooh, those are some nice seamless underwear. Like, these are nice. So, mm hmm Real good quality. Hold on, you gotta place your foot. Yeah, that's perfect. <sighs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> mama hands stand over me pull back pull back you gonna we gonna do a stretch pull back pull back oh wait I'm sorry okay 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 one two three just a light oh wait just one two light a light pull Light pool. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Oh. <sighs> can you can you can you get up? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon. Um Today is Thursday, August 5th. I have not been vlogging very much because I've been in a lot of uh, back pain, like with my shoulders and my upper back between my shoulder blades. And it's just really been taking me out. It has really been taking me out. On top of that, um, y'all know what I always talk about. I eat what I want, which I really shouldn't because I have high cholesterol, so I really need to watch what I eat and eat a lot more healthier which I, th I thought I did but every now and then I will you know have like some barbecue or some soul food and that type of food is typically high in like cholesterol and salt and sugar so um my blood pressure being up a lot and I'm realizing as I get older that it takes a longer time for it to go back down if I don't medicate. So, 
Yeah, I just been resting a lot this week and not doing too much because of my back pain and I just been feeling really dizzy. Um, right now, my housekeepers are here cleaning, which is helping me out because I really just don't have the energy to do a deep clean in my house. So, ooh, I love them. I think I'm about to start booking them like every two weeks instead of every week. I mean, every month. I think I'm going to start booking them every two weeks <clears throat> because it helps me out so much more. Yeah, I'm just sitting here at my desk getting some work done um, and getting some things out the way that I need to get done. Um, some things that I need. To, I need to go to the Salvation Army and drop these shoes off. I have a bag, a garbage bag full of shoes behind me that I need to take to Salvation Army and um, <clears throat> I want to go take care of to indoor skydiving, so um, we got to wear, wear helmets, and um, yesterday we went to the chiropractor, and I got Karen in adjustment too. She was scared, so we're going to try again tomorrow. She was only allowed, she only allowed the doctor to um, adjust her spine. She didn't really let her do much more else, like her neck and uh, her hips and stuff like that. So hopefully tomorrow she allows her to do a little bit more, but I got a massage afterwards um, there too. And oh, Chai, he really worked them knots out of my back. Like it's feeling a whole lot better. It's not 100% yet. And I am back sleeping with my body pillow that I was using when I um, got surgery. Um, I, I don't know what it is with my mattress, but it's not, it is not agreeing with my bed, girl. So, that is that. But I want to go and do indoor skydiving today because we kind of been in the house all week because I've been in so much pain. So, um, initially she was supposed to go back Sunday, but um, they extended her to stay with me another two weeks, which I'm really happy about that. And, I feel like we kind of lost a few days because I've been down. So I want to make up for those days and do some stuff. Um, so I definitely want to take her to indoor skydiving because there's something that I've been waiting and wanting to do, but I wanted to do it with her. So we're going to do that today. In the end, I'm going to come back and do her hair and my hair because we got to put a helmet on. So there's no reason for me to like do our hair before we go because it's going to sweat out and mess it up. So yeah, I want to do that and some other fun stuff and i want to go i want to go some places so um i'm looking at flights to take her somewhere so we can do some fun stuff and get out of dallas because it's hot here baby it is hot here Ooh, i think that has something to do with my blood pressure hey y'all good morning i'm finally starting to get back to myself um i'm headed to see um naked facials who does my waxes and um my vajayshals i'm headed to her to get a bye bye ingrown vajayshal because i have an ingrown and no ma'am i don't like nothing down there that ain't supposed to be down there so i'm gonna let her do it because if i do it and turn into doogie house a baby mm -mm. It's gonna leave them work, and I don't want to leave it to leave them work. <clears throat> I already got the motherfucking lipo scars that I don't want down there, so um, yeah, I'm gonna let her do it, and hopefully she can get it out because I ain't got time. I ain't even got no boyfriend, but still, even even if you know what I'm saying, like when I look there, I just wanted to be clear, clear skin, like leave me alone, period. Then. Then flow comes today. I'm like, so I hit her up to cancel the appointment because generally, you know, you can't get stuff like that when it's the time of the month. But she was like, just put a tampon on, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, let me jump in the shower real quick because uh, I feel disgusting. So yeah, had to do that, and I'm wearing. Mimosa and cardamom today uh, by Joe Malone. Ugh, I forgot how good this smells because I've been wearing Le Labo another 13 every damn day. This year, here though. Mm, mm, mm. This smells so damn good. 
it's definitely a mood elevator so yeah we're headed there and then um god me coming on today just really ruined everything because i had so many plans for me and karen but generally when i come on my first day i'd be i'd be pretty messed up you know so i stay in the bed the first day so i'm going to try to be active today I actually feel like I've been losing weight and muscle mass from not going to the gym um, due to this back pain so I really need to get into get in the get back in the gym chair plus I'm old three more days from Jacoby and he ain't cheap all right we are all done excuse me okay about to head back to the house now and I wonder if Karen is still asleep. She probably knocked out Mams up to like 6, 7 o'clock in the morning watching others. It's one of her favorite movies. Y'all Kelly Kesty. Kelly Kelly Kesty. Okay you guys I am all done. It feels better. Um and I have a keloid because y'all know if y'all watch so how would this be if I'm right yeah so if y'all watch this video here that I'm about to pin my surgery video um, I talk about getting a designer kitty which is basically getting your lips plumped your, your vaginal lips plumped um if you are one of those girls with like you know really big a, a really big area down there um as you age and get older and just wear tight jeans if you have like big lips like luscious lips eventually they'll start to lose collagen and elasticity and start just looking deflated like hmm deadly deflated that's how it can explain it. They just look real deflated. So I got them plumped back up because once I realized that that was a thing, bitch, I was like, oh, wait a minute. And it was a good thing because at first I thought something was wrong with me. My mom stand by the microwave too long or something. Like, why am I like this? But yeah, when I got older and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> niggas like it, whatever. So like, I was like, okay, let me plump them back up because. The head started looking a little deflated, beach. All the helium head came out. So I have a keloid there from the scar that he uh, he used to like plump them up because it's it was fat he used, so it doesn't go away. I have a scar there, and it keloided, so she micro needled that. So micro needling is really good for keloids. I did not know it until I got my face micro needled. And this keloid that was under my chin from my second lipo went away and completely flattened. So I was like, oh, can you hit my keloid a couple of times? And no shit, Sherlock, it is already going down. So by next week, that keloid should be gone. And it's been there for a whole year, y'all. I feel like I could cry right now because next week it'll be gone. Like... <laughs> I don't know what to say right now. Like, I just want to thank God. And I want to thank... I feel like I'm getting an award. I just want to thank God. And I want to thank all my fans. Because without y'all, this would be possible. She won't be my bitch. I can't fuck with the pet. Her best friend ended up giving me set in the tall hole when I jumped off the jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just been yeah. Out. So, word on the street is I had to get a new... Baby, why is you all in my business? You a stern, supposed to be getting gas. Get you some gas and get on about your business. So word on the street is, I had to get a new pen because my other ooze pen battery was defective. Or I, either I broke it, I probably dropped it. So, 
So this one, I'm getting some gas right now. So this one is gelato, but it's a different one. It's, I don't think this one is by the one that I usually get. Bro. This one, I'm going to go to the smoke shop. I'm going to take y'all to my smoke shop. And I'm going to show y'all which one this is so y'all can order it or get it or whatever. Oh my God, it's such a good, it's so good for pain. It is relieving my pain. My back pain. CPD is the shit. Ain't it us. So, right now... Y'all remember my first vlog? Go back and watch my first vlog. We was in the middle of quarantine. And I was in gas. And it took $38 to fill my tank up. Now it takes 51 Now it's like 51. Okay, sis, with your little with your little tennis outfit on. That's cute. Where y'all about to go? But yeah, as I was saying, word on the street is I got a new ooze pen. This one is rainbow and i also tried a different cartridge this one is uh <clears throat> i want to say this is a gelato delta a cartridge but it's just by <coughs> a different company and i feel it i definitely feel a buzz and this one is really good for pain relief because every time i vape and i hit this pen i can hit it like five or six times it almost immediately relieves my back pain. So I'm happy. I'm about to go get another one. And I'm taking you with me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> go. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Hey. <laughs> Okay, what's up you cool kittens and cats so i just came back from getting a facial i got a hydro facial today um in the next two weeks i will probably get another light peel but i didn't want to like keep getting light peels like i want a hydro facial i love hydro facials and my skin just glows after a hydro facial so can y'all see it <laughs> Oh, don't talk about my wig, baby. I just threw it on. I ain't glue it on. Okay, so I mean, if you see it lifting, that's be that, that's because I just I just threw it on. I ain't feel like going it down because I really have to put on another one. I have so many hair reviews that I need to do, and I am I have been so lazy. I have been in so much pain. I've been sick. My blood pressure been up from. Just overexerting myself, trying to gain way too fast. My body didn't like it. My body did not like it. So I think I'm like back down to like 144 or 145, which is cool with me because obviously my body don't want to be 150 no more. I'm I'm really starting to see the effects of high blood pressure. It runs in my family, so I definitely need to watch what I eat, especially when it comes to like soul food, which is my favorite type of food. It's a lot of cholesterol, you know, in um, soul food. And while it tastes so good, it is so not good for me. <sighs> so sad, because I am just not a salad and rice bitch. I'm not. But my homeboy, Juice, is getting ready to come over. Oh, he just pulled up. Okay, Juice, I see you in your Jeep or whatever. I see you. What's up, man? What's up, gang? Girl. Yes, you can. Hey, <sighs> so we about to play catch up because I ain't been. Oh, do it stink in here? Spray it. Oh my lord. Ooh. Mm. 
This right here. That mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. <laughs> you know, it do it. It do it. It do what is it do what needs to be done, okay? I don't be having company like this, so let me hurry up and let me hurry up and clean up before you come. You know the usual what girls start doing, they start straightening up and shit. Putting shit in drawers that don't belong in there. <laughs> that's how you, that's how you do it. Come open arms, open arms. Hey, <laughs> Jules. What's happening? Mm-mm. I had made her some grits, but she don't like cheddar grits. So later for that. What's gonna go do indoor skydiving? They booked up today, so I'm go, we gonna go Monday. Outdoor. Indoor. You gonna do outdoor? Indoor skydiving. Indoor. I'm gonna do it. Really? But no, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna yeah. jump out of the plane for real. Wait. Probably when I come back from Turkey. What you got? What you got? Cause you always. You always got uh, the, the shit that you don't sell people. <laughs> nah, people get this. This is, ooh, put uh, your nose to it. Don't talk about me, I got a diaper on. What? Put your nose to it. It's loud as fuck, bro. You ain't even got to put my nose to it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't talk about my wig. I, I threw it on, I ain't threw it on. I might talk about everything you tell me not to talk about. Now, let's talk about this panel. Mm-hmm. This time of the month. I don't like wearing pads and tampons anymore. So you decided to choose pampers? What? Those for like elders. Who can't? You know. It's actually like super healthy. Is it? Because tampons aren't. So. And the older I get, the more sensitive it gets. Okay. So. And then pads. I mean, if, I, if I'm gonna wear a pad, I can wear a pamper. And I have complete coverage. I can lay on my stomach, won't, won't leak out. I can lay on my back, won't leak out. I can lay on my sides, won't leak out. Pads really aren't that good of good protection. Are you, okay, are you starting to, um, is this what's been going on? A lot of girls wear diapers. Really? Mm -hmm. One, um, this girl that's on, um, Instagram, I think, uh, what is it? Hi, my name's T. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she uh, wore diapers. I used to I always look at her sideways like, what the fuck? Because so my whole thing for not wearing pads is I don't like to sit in it all day. I mean, you don't take them to sit in it all day, but my thing is I just don't like sitting in it. I don't like to feel it coming out of me, and I don't like to feeling like I'm sitting in it all day. But... The pimples are actually really absorbent, so I don't feel that way. I can feel it coming out of me, and it's it feels gross, but whatever. The tampon is just not good, good for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so serious. It's a straight face. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just thinking, so that's something you always like. Make sure you put in the Wilson I know. Like you put that on. On your own, right? You never gonna like wear that out. You know, like babies wear that diaper. That you're not gonna come out with the diaper on ever. Like, I mean, ever. I went, I went to the gym a couple of times <laughs> wearing a diaper. My booty was looking real big that day too. I was like, eh, eh. Are you cheating? Diaper booty. That is cheating. Do I look like I got diaper booty right now? No. Do I look like I got on some underwear? I mean, I can't really tell with the lights so on. No. Well. That's I'm crazy. I'ma walk. <laughs> no? Can you say no? No, I can't. <laughs> but I'm so tickled by the fact that like. Hey. But you can tell you know when a girl got a pad on. Can you? Hell yeah. I can't. 
How can you tell? Because the seam of the pants or the leggings or whatever is supposed to like cut right in the middle and it don't because the pad is blocking it. So how, you can see the pad. How how long do you think men stir? I don't know how long do y'all stir? Not long enough to see a pad. Cause you stir too long you get caught. So I wouldn't even know like what well, men just be I mean, but don't y'all want to get caught? It's not about getting caught by her, it's getting caught by whoever looking at you being a pervert. Man, of course we want her to know we looking at I see like, niggas staring at her. Yeah, he's like that, that nigga staring at it. That nigga staring. A nigga will stir, if the girl bob him from here to here, he'll be like this. No, no, I don't do that. No, we talking about on the reg just a regular situational. But just, like, you used to have a Snapchat that followed women around unbeknownst to them looking at that booty. So, what? What? Your I, point? I'm saying I was on duty, but that was for the camera. It was more, I, you Not fucking right too, Not though. You right, but, and I'm even with that, I'm saying I still couldn't even, uh, still can't tell. Not on duty. Not on duty. I was on duty last night. You want to see what I got? Oh, God. You know what I'm perverted mess back up. It's summertime. Sun's out, buns out. Okay, I ain't gonna do it. No, nah, you know what? Maybe you need to start it back up. Because men need to understand that women, uh, women are, are you? a prize. <laughs> and What's the you know, on? like, y'all need to just, you need to put it out there so men can remember, like, bro, there's some fucking queens out there. Yeah, bro. And it's okay to like love women only. <laughs> you better be careful. You're gonna get counsel from all the festivals. I said it's okay too. You ain't been out. Huh? No, I haven't. I ain't been nowhere. You got rolling papers? Yes. Can I get one? I don't exactly know where I put them. Hold on, let me try to find them. Excuse me. Solo vacation. You good for those? Mm -hmm. No, you know, I ain't got nobody, so. You got somebody. You ain't got nobody you want to go on vacation. I don't with. have anyone, sir. I don't have anyone. So I cannot take a vacation if I don't get no damn bay. You said you got gone. They got me a bay. I would, I would, I would like for it to be a bay, so we can do bay things. <laughs> What's bay things? Nasty stuff. Oh, fly somebody out. Fuck you. Hey, don't. What do I look like a fucking sugar mama? I don't know what sugar mama. No, nah, like. bro, I got my, I got my own money. Cause if you got money, meet me there. Matter of fact, beat me there. Don't meet me there. You need to be excited that you ain't have to pay for your my half. Ooh, wee! I'm broke. Stop saying that. I'm your me. broke best friend. <laughs> Stop saying it. No, I'm going to say it loud. I am your broke bitch friend. Y'all make sure y'all know that. You really got to stop claiming it in the night. Under the caption. You really got to stop claiming. What is my other little red thing? You got to stop claiming it in the night. Hey. What? I just won $18,000 at the casino last week. I think people who know me know that I'm not broke, fam. They seen me post it. <laughs> it's, it's just me. Wow, congratulations. It's just how I speak sometimes. But you are right, I do need to stop saying that, though. You, you really do. You, you've been writing a lot today. I've been writing a lot today? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? That was the second time you was right. About? What was the first time I was right? About the 
the booty stuff and me and don't stir and i'm like we don't i said we don't stir and you like but you do social media that's trending for booties and i was like you're right what you been doing out there uh i had basketball camp for the kids and then i went home watched movie eight woke up what you watch Bad boys for life Like, how much sugar is in a Sprite? This shit is still sticky. First of all, you shouldn't be drinking Sprite. Karen drinks Sprite. You should never drink Sprite. Soda isn't good for you. And they're right kids. Don't be looking at me like you want to take a picture. I do. What? That ain't right. It's some things that, like, some men are built for. And taking their little girls shopping, we don't got that many amount of patience. We love our little girls. Bro, it's super easy. I think you thinking too deep into it. No, I think See, my daughter, the thing I is, you ain't you you ain't never took a woman shopping, period. That's the problem. You stingy yeah. motherfucker. Well, you right and you wrong. Well, you wrong all the way, because I have taken a woman shopping. But I'm mainly am stingy. My girl. Yeah. Your girl. Yeah, take her shopping or give her money. I'm more of the give her money thing because I don't have the patience. Like, you know, you want to go get a pair of jeans, right? Y'all don't just go look for the jeans. It's when like was your last girlfriend, Juice. Who? When your last girlfriend? When? Yep. Thirty days past September, April, June, and November. I will tell you that. Always. What? Nigga, you know you had a girlfriend recently? No. What are you asking me? Why are you asking me stuff you don't answer to? Is it because this camera on? No. When was your last girlfriend? Officially? God damn, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to say. Officially? It's been a couple of years officially. Okay. So but it's things not like, have changed. Women ain't going shopping for no damn jeans. We nah, getting those all fashion over. You're not even listening to me. And jeans is just an example. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying. So if I want to take you shopping, I supposed to go with you everywhere? Don't take me shopping. I'm asking a question. You a woman? I'm asking if I want to go out on a date and I meet Show somebody just new. just won $18,000. Yeah, let's go shopping. You want to take me shopping? I ain't got no money. I'm broke. Stingy bastard. Don't. That's why I was, he a Libra. Y'all y'all remember that video I made about Libras? <clears throat> this ain't going up, I hope. It depends on how I look. Like, if you can see my, 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 my wig lifting, I ain't posting none of this Let shit. Let me lift that wig real quick. Watch out, bro. Watch out. <laughs> Babe, I'm so mad. I just bust out and told Juice that I got a diaper on and I ain't glued my wig down. The shit I do when I'm sober. I tell you. This is the vibe from that guy. Put her legs in the sky whenever I. Almost. Call the music just so you so. Almost. Like, what was that? What possessed homie to make that song and sing it like that? Like you gonna the kind of music that soothes your soul, the kind of music that soothes your soul. Like you was feeling it. Who? Who have a song singing that song? I want that old time rock and roll. Hi, you guys. So uh, me and Karen are getting ready to go get our toes done. Today is Sunday. It's going to be a really chill day because it's the time of the month, honey. And um, I ain't got time for the time of the month. I really don't. <laughs> ain't like I got nothing to do, though. And I, but <clears throat> I just don't got time for it. But our skin is looking better. We're glowy. Got my vitamin C on. No sunscreen. That's why I got my hat on. But yeah, we incognito. We about to go get our toes done. So come with us. That color like that for 
you run out of Freon. You know it's hot. Then you really be having to go fast because you got to ride with your damn windows down. You better knock it off. <laughs> trying to get mad at me because I'm trying to switch over in lanes and you riding my coattail. You riding my coattail. You see I'm trying to get over. I can't stand these motherfucking Texans in these pickup trucks thinking they run the road. You don't run the road. <laughs> Stepped on my damn toes. My toes. Step on my coin again. See what happens. It's gonna be trouble. Woo! <laughs> and cats. Me and Kyron getting ready to do indoor skydiving. Please use other door. What other door? Maybe it's around this way. It's nice and hot out here today. Well, how you get the hell around here?
Hey guys, let's go in the okay. classroom. Okay. You can bring me. Easier for your photos and videos. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cool. All right. A lot easier for us to get in our flight position. And this is what our flight position looks like. We're trying to create an arch with our body. And it's going to be a lot easier if we're relaxed. I want you to think about having your hips at the lowest point. And the best way to do that is simply by keeping our chin up. If we bring our chin up and we look forward, right at our hands, we're going to have a good arch with our back. And we're going to be stable in the wind. So if you're flying really flat like this, and your whole body's flat, it's going to be harder to fly. But as soon as we bring that chin up, we look at your hands, you can see how my body bends. So that bend and that arch is going to give you stability. Okay? We also need to catch wind. We want to generate lift. We want to catch wind. So we need to catch wind on the front end with our arms and on the back end with our legs. Let me get you guys a couple suits. We're going to take everything out of our pockets so we don't want to lose anything. So, if you have anything in your pockets, we'll take it out. Awesome. Here you go. This is going to be your suit. You want to take off your shoes first, it'll be easier to And the zipper goes in the front.
the pool. My arm hurt a little bit. That wind. Baby, I'm so frail. That wind, you're about to knock my arm out of his socket. I feel like my no, my shoulder knee popped. It's good. I'm going to get a massage at five. Let's go get us something to eat. I'm in the mood for cheddars. I want some of them uh them croissant, them butter croissant with the frosting on it. Ooh, a vibe right now. Bye 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 bye. So, hey, sir. Hey, sir. Chatters. Hey, sir. Give me directions to Chatters. One option I found is Chatters Scratch Kitchen, about 3.8 miles to your west on Nebraska Furniture Mart Drive in the colony. But it only averages 2.5 stars according to Yelp. It's open today from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Is that the one you want? Yes. Getting directions to Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. What is this, Mom? Fish, baked potato, rice, and broccoli. You want it? Yeah. It's salmon. Yeah. I eat salmon. Okay, girlfriend. I'm trying to see what this was right there. That's it. Salmon, broccoli, baked potato, and rice. Hello, guys. How y'all doing today? Good. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. My name is Mike. I'll be taking care of y'all. Can I get y'all start with any drinks for you guys? Any appetizers? Did y'all see how I look when he walked in? Yeah. First of all, sir, where did you come <laughs> from? <laughs> Y'all be hurt? Cause you been running through my eye all day. Like, no, I should work hurt. I should. Baby, he is fast as one. <laughs> so this young man said he was 19 years old. First of all, sir, he was in a I keep telling y'all, I think my soulmate ain't born yet, baby. My soulmate definitely gonna be a good 20 years younger than me. I'm gonna have a whole still ahead of your groove back moment. They're back fine. And I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Let me, what's your YouTube and I can, so I can watch it? What's Hayden your channel? Charles. What is it? Hayden Marie Charles. All right, you ready to drive? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Whew, okay. Fix your, uh, adjust your seat. Are you up? Are you up close enough? Yeah. Okay. Put your foot on the brake. In order to start the car, you always have to put your foot all the way on the brake. Push it all the way down. Okay. Now push the start button and start the car up. All right. Whew, it is hot outside today, child. Okay, now we are ready to put it in drive. So you're gonna press this button and pull it back to put it in, put it in drive. There you go. Now it's in drive. Against this red line, you see that red line. You want to go easy up against that red line, not on it, but close to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it a little 
gas. That's the brake. The other one is the gas. Okay. Oh! Sorry, Mom. It's okay. You're doing good. Going on around. Well, okay, let's go left. Go that way. And this way, Mom? Mm -hmm. Watch this car. Cars coming. Go that way. Got a speed bump coming. Got a speed bump. You're not on the side of the the, the red line. Slow down. Let's turn around. Let's turn around this way. Go back this way. Drive a little bit more. Good job. Good job. Back up. Stop. Stop. Back up. not really the right way to be going but we're gonna go right here today okay okay all right slow down slow down you're hitting the brake too hard okay make a turn oh god oh god oh god okay brake 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 